Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial using the Makeup Revolution palette, Neutrals versus Neutrals. I think this palette's really great and I feel like I haven't been playing with it enough. So I wanted to show you guys an eye look for you. It's very smoky, a little bit more smoky than I'm used to, but I'm okay with it. It's yeah, I'm down for it, you know? But it's this makeup look right here, so if you guys are interested in this makeup look, make sure you stay tuned and keep watching. Also, if you aren't already, make sure you click down below and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see, if you'd like to see more content from me. Also, make sure you check out a lot of my other videos. If you guys are interested in swatches, I can get a video up for you guys. Let me show you this palette first. It's got a really great mix of lighter neutrals and a lot of the darks. It has this kind of like it reminds me so much of the of the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. A lot of people have been comparing it to the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, but I think it's it's similar to that with some of the tones or with some of the shades in the palette, but it's also similar to the the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. So let me show you both of those side by side. These are the palettes I'm showing you, and if you take a look at this bottom row mostly, this bottom row right here, it's very similar to the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette especially this color at the bottom, it's similar to this shade from the Naked 3 palette. I wanted to try these out for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you guys continue watching, and if you're interested in this eye look, just stay tuned. First, I'm going to be priming my eyelids with this Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer. I love this guy. It's usually my go-to for my eyeshadow primer. Then we are going to move on after this to the neutrals versus neutrals palette and I'm taking this light shade at the top left corner right here to set my primer and to use as a brow bone highlight. After that I'm going to go into this pink shade right here and I'm going to use this as a transition color or the first level of my transition color. Working that through my crease with windshield wiper motions and I'm going to set this down as the beginning of my transition. As a girl with darker skin tones, I'm using this palette and the lighter shades are a little bit hard for me to use but I work with it and that peach shade as well as that light left shade that I was using on my eyelids so far have worked really well, especially that lighter shade to highlight my brow bone. I'm going into this kind of brown grayish, and I'm using that as a transition color as well. I'm using it to deepen up my crease the tiniest bit before I go in with any darker colors so that there's like more of a gradient in my eyeshadows. I'm loving this color right now, especially in this palette because it goes so great with the eyeshadows on that bottom row. You can definitely get a lot of looks from this eyeshadow palette if you're interested in it. So many fun colors, brights, a lot of warm tones at the top, and then cooler tones at the bottom. Now going into that darker shade, we are going to use this to darken up the outer V of my eyelid. Starting very lightly, I'm going to lightly build up that darker color and then work my way up to whatever I am comfortable with. There is a little bit of fallout from the shimmery shades as you can see underneath my eyelids, but that is why I recommend that you do use this any of the shimmery shades, the matte shades do not have this problem, but with the shimmery shades, especially if you're going to work with these eyeshadows, do the eyeshadow look before you do any of your foundation or your concealer just so that afterwards you can clean anything up. Right now I'm just going to blend out as much as I can and make sure you keep blending until you are comfortable or you are happy with however this turns out. After this, I'm going to take this shimmery champagne color from that bottom row and I'm going to place that on the inner two thirds of my eyelid, working my way from the outside in and blending as I go. This guy right here is easily becoming one of my favorite liquid liners. Look at the clean line it gives me and I love the brush tip. So take whatever favorite liner you have and start out with your wing. I either work my way from the inside out or I start with the tip. Now 
Next, take any of your favorite lashes, I'm loving this Demi Wispy style, and place those on your eyelids. Obviously, these are optional, but go with whatever style of lashes or bare lashes if you're interested in that, but go with whatever makes you comfortable. Moving on to foundation, I'm loving mixing foundation. I did get this City Color Flawless Finish Foundation, too light for me accidentally, but I'm loving mixing the NYX foundation mixers, couldn't remember the name, and making it kind of preferable to my own shade. So these are great, I'm loving. I use both the warmth and the tan foundation mixtures just so that I can make it to my own shade and I'm laying both of these down so that I can slowly work my way up to the shade that I want before I end up making it too dark for my skin and making myself look way too tan even though I love being tan but I want it to look natural. You know, you know what I'm saying? If you are mixing anything, make sure your hands are clean. I obviously could not find the spatula that I usually mix things with but I am placing this on my face as soon as I have the foundation shade that I want and it turned out amazing. It looks so good. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Can you not tell by my foundation blending? I am very happy with the shade. Blend, 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 blend. This takes me forever, but I mean, you gotta make it look good. So obviously take your time with this, blend the foundation as much as you want, wear whatever shade foundation you like, make it look good, cause you're always gonna look good. You look beautiful. Did I tell you that today? Honestly, I was so sick when I was making this, so this foundation mixed together is making my skin look way better than it actually was during this time, because I was super sick, I had the flu for like two weeks, and I was not even able, able to make anything during that time, so I'm surprised at how good this looks. Since this foundation is way too light for me, I use this to highlight or I kind of just use it as a concealer to highlight underneath my eyes, highlight along my jawline, down the bridge of my nose, as well as, I think that's it, huh. I pretty much think that's it. But I love this as a highlight. It's so light. I'm a fan of this foundation and I am debating on whether or not I need to actually get it in my shade or something a little bit closer to my shade. Again, we go back to blend, 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 because I'm finished laying down all of this foundation and I'm going to blend all of this out with a little brush. Blend, 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 blend. I honestly need to get a smaller brush just so that I can work smaller areas, but this is like a mid-sized brush and it does what it does fairly well, but I think I need to get something smaller to work underneath my eyelids, or uh, my eyelids, my under eyes especially. Now, going to my setting powder, use any setting powder that you are happy with. I've been loving the Flower Beauty setting powder, so I'm gonna tap off the excess, make sure I set my under eyes, as well as pretty much all over my face, because I am a very oily girl, and I need it. So, set that foundation, set everything down, and make sure everything is matte and nice, or however you want it to look, because this is for your face. I love this contour palette. You've seen it so many times and it is the powder version. Yes, it's the powder version. I'm using this to contour. I love the shades in here. If you are a darker girl looking for a drugstore contour, Black Radiance has an amazing one. They even came out with a cream recently. I'm just going to carve out my cheekbones and make sure that I high enough warm up the peripheries of my face. So do this as you please. Contour however you like, wherever you like. I honestly think that I go a little overboard with my highlight, but obviously to each their own. 
looking into my eyebrows this is something new that i've been using from nyx and it's just their brow pencil they came out with a bunch of new colors and i'm using ash brown i have been going a little bit lighter with my eyebrows yes if you've been asking maybe you haven't but that's good it's a bit more natural than i was going for before so definitely loving this product i am probably i need a sharpener for this because i cannot find mine somewhere it's here i swear i picked it up like last week and i was just like hey i need this and then i put it down and i can't remember where but i need to sharpen this guy main story main point of my story i mean I love this brow gel. I've been using it for quite a while, probably not too long, but still, I'm loving this. It helps make my eyebrows look a little bit more natural. It gives me more definition, especially since it's a little bit darker than the brow pencil that I'm using. But this is the Bliss Brow Gel and it is glorious. I always try to remind myself to make sure to brush my eyebrows up with my brow gel just so that you give a little bit more thickness and definition. I love how this brow gel look, makes my eyebrows look like they're a lot thicker than they actually are. This mascara has been one of the top favorites for a while now, and I'm so happy to be using it. I feel like it doesn't smudge on my eyelids, and I even use it on my lower lash line, and then nothing crumbles, nothing smudges. It is great. Since I am done with almost everything else, I'm going to go back to my lower lash line, taking this darker shade of the palette and smudging it on the outer one third of my eye under eyelids or my lower lash line and smudging that out just the tiniest little bit. Then on the inner two thirds of my eyelid, I'm going to take that lovely grayish brown that I was loving a while ago as my transition color. And I'm gonna use that on the inner two thirds of my eyelid, making sure to blend in between that darker shade and the lighter shade on my lower lash line. This is one of the new highlights that I bought from Makeup Revolution. It is one of the Skin Kiss highlights, and this is what the shade looks like on my hand. It is beautiful, such a very nice highlight. I always thought it was too light for me, or I thought it was light for me when I bought it, but now that I am trying it out, it looks amazing. And Makeup Revolution just does their highlighters so right. Honestly, my hair looks so messy right now, but I promise you that it will look better later. My hair always just ends up falling out since it's shorter right there, so I promise it'll look better. I apologize for how messy I look, but I promise it looks good. It looks good later. Now, second to last step, let's set the face, make sure all of that hard work does not move around, and get ready for the last step because your lips matter or if you don't like lipsticks, they don't, but lipsticks are fun, try and play with them. Rosewood is one of the newer cream lip stains from Sephora. It's part of the, I think they added 13 new shades to their range, but this lip stain is so comfortable. I can wear it for a very long time. It doesn't feel drying. It looks really great on the lips. It doesn't fall into the creases and it's just such a pretty color. They have a bunch of really great colors they added to it. I even like that green. I think it's like a forest green they added and I wanna get my hands on it so bad and see if I can actually wear it or pull it off really but you can pull off anything if you put your mind to it. You like how I put that sticker on this little tiny mirror that says best day ever. It's the best day ever. What is that from? Do you know? But I love how this look turned out, especially the eyeshadow. It's a bit more smoky than I like, but very nice still. I cannot keep a straight face, but thank you guys for watching.
thank you guys for staying to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I am very glad to have you here. Subscribe down below if you guys are interested in my channel and check out a lot of my other videos. I'm really happy to have you guys. I will see you guys in my next video and farewell. Bye!